Our friend Billy Gardell is on his way over. You might be him, very funny comedian, Mike and Molly, also a big car guy. He was on the show last year with his 56 Chevy, his Bel Air. My wife, she doesn't ride in this car a lot. No? No. She said it's big and loud and noisy, and I already have one of those. Yeah. She, she's... <laughs> you got enough of that at home. But he told me he got rid of it, and he finally got his dream car. I have no idea what it is. He's going to pull up here any second, and we'll see what it is. What do you say? Looks good. Good to see you, Billy. You too, buddy boy. Come now, on. this is the dream car. I, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I thought the 56 Bel Air was your dream car. It was, but this has been one of my all-time favorites as well. The 56, as you know, was tricked out beyond belief, but it was built to be driven 50 feet, wiped with a diaper, and then right. put away. Right, right. I like a car that you Kinda can like drive. Kind of like yourself. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of it, folks. Anyway, I like a car you can drive around all the time, so I got my favorite Hot Wheel. This was my favorite Hot Wheel oh, as a kid. Oh, is that right? The old Cutlass. I used to lay down sideways and watch the wheels go, and I found one. And it was much less expensive than the 56 and much less hassle. Right, right. Well, that's yeah. kind of what our episode is about. Right. It, it's limited funds, unlimited fun. So Love this is it. actually costs less than the car you got rid of. Way less, half, in fact. Right. And, and this is a car that you could get, even if you didn't pay for it all the way. This is 250 300 a month. You're driving a hot rod every day. It's got a stock engine. Anything happens to it, you're right back in business with an easy repair. It's not as finicky as the other one. Right. I like it much better. Right, right, OK. But why the Cutlass? Was this? Was there a guy in your neighborhood that had a cut? Was this there was some without reason? a doubt. There were the Cutlass or the, the 442 in my neighborhood, if you saw four guys in one of them, they were up to something. Yeah, yeah. And you were standing on a corner hoping one day you'd be up to something. So now, I, I figure you and me will be up to something. See, you're kind of like the old neighborhood when you come around here. That's it. That, that's what, it, that's, that's what, what I, I want to be to your place. That's what I'm saying. That's I mean, we can go out in fancy Mercedes right. and cause them But driving around a 69 Oldsmobile, that's unlimited fun. Let's do it. Limited fun. Let's do it. We'll talk about I'm the old days. Let's, Let's give go. it a shot. That's it. You got the spoiler here to keep the front end down at high speed. <laughs> That's always a fat joke. You're going to hurt my one feeling. You ready? Let's do it. All right. what it's about, cruising like the old days. Cruising. You got to tell my son when you cruise, he's 15, I said, you got to have your elbow up on the window seat. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Have your elbow. You can't cruise without your elbow up. That balances that's everything. That's a back east thing. And it doesn't cost any money, you see? Free. That's free. We didn't have to download anything. We don't got to charge nothing. We start it and go. I, I love this car. I'll own this car forever. Yeah. I love it, yeah. I want new lights on it. I might put chrome in the front. And then I want to do. Welcome. How you doing? Say hi to Kevin James. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to watch King of Queens. <laughs> so when you came to Hollywood, yes. were you successful already, or were you just came no, here struggling? Oh, God, no. I, didn't, I wasn't successful in Hollywood for I did the road for 10 years and then yeah. came out here and wasn't successful for 10 more. Wow. Well, you know what I used to do? When I came to town, I had no place to live. Right. And what I would do is I would go to open houses on right. the weekend. Right. And it would say the like, food, right? Well, no, it would say like 12 to 4. Right. I'd get there at 3.15. I would go hide in the closet and just shut the door. A real dude, everybody out, everybody out. OK, they'd lock the door. And I had a place to live for like two or three days. Is that real? Yeah, I lived in a house up on the uh, outpost. <laughs> for That's a couple of months. Great. It was a great way. You just go from house to house. Beautiful home. You know. <laughs> and then after a couple of weeks, you're like, well, I don't like this place at all. <laughs> Not I want enough room in that closet. It's a shame they sold that other that house. That was a walk-in. Because yeah. I like that one better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. L.A. was tough when you got no money, man. God forbid you did get a show where you had to dress nice, you know. That was always a nightmare for me, because I couldn't afford nice stuff. So right. we'd go hit the thrift shops, you know? Really? Yeah. Yeah, but, but being a fat guy in a thrift shop, 
you're talking about a needle in a haystack. Yeah, yeah. You know, the guys that are mediums, there's 40 things to choose from. Right, right. I might get lucky if something fit me. And you technically, know I mean? a fat guy in a thrift shop is not a needle in a haystack. It's more like a beach ball in a haystack. Yeah, but ball, you got my point, Leno. Yeah, you no, got I, my I, point. I just want to make it clear to the audience. No, it's very clear, my friend. Yes, yes that's right. <laughs> you know what might be fun? Let's pretend it's like the old days. Let's, I know a couple of thrift shops. Let's see if we can you find you some, we can find some? Yeah, find some clothes a on, a, on a budget. We're not going to find anything my size. No, no, I don't think so. You think? Know, Americans have gotten bigger in the last few years. So I, think, <laughs> yeah, you know, I think it's the serving you know, sizes. You, in fact, you, you're now a boy's husky. <laughs> <laughs> Go down here. Keep going now. I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. Just follow my direction. <laughs> This place got used clothes, come on. All right. Let's pretend like you're doing the Tonight Show for the first time. Well, then I need a jacket. Yeah, try this. That's, you think that's gonna? No, this is, this is a Chris Farley shot here. Look, now, now I just look like I need to be medicated. Help! Help me, they took everything! Well, that's nice. Kind of like the blue one. You like the okay? You go with the blue. That's I fine. I think I can rock the it's blue. It's a visual ones. choice. Please, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Please. These are actually kind of hip clothes. You know? Yeah, but I'm not hip. I've never been hip. You don't have to tell me. It's exhausting. You got to get hair products and boots. This was actually one of my baby onesies. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find. I actually have a jean jacket at home, but we're looking for. A, we want the sport coat. That's sport not coat. a jean jacket you have at home. What is it? It's a car cover. See how I set you up yeah, for that? Yeah, You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. All right. They actually use it as the tarp to cover Dodger Field. Okay. All right. I think we could be like one of those fashionable L.A. couples, you and me. Yeah. yeah. This is bad. I look like the paper towel guy's weird cousin. Yeah. Yeah. Put that away. This might work. Right. This is in the portly section. Jeez. Now, this one's actually, I can't believe it's actually too big for me. Two more pockets, I'd be a pool table. So, come on, this doesn't have any personality. I thought that would be fitting with the no personality. This is going great. What? I got it. You got it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, go. wait a minute. Hold there on. Go. There Hold you the go. phone. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for late night now. $25. $25. And I think this used to belong to General Noriega. <laughs> We're going to twirl. I look like they found Elvis after he's been missing for a yeah, lot yeah. of years. Yeah, that's all right. all right. I'll take it. You gonna take it? Yeah, 25 bucks. 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.